Okay, um, I might do what if Deku had hardening quirk, or I might do like, what if Naruto had a hardening ability, and it won't be cursing as hardening, because I've been having these ideas of hardening abilities. You know how I was talking about that dragon, and I was thinking Hiroshima didn't even have long range attacks. Maybe I can make it where he can shoot rock out of his wings and stuff like that. So that's probably going to be my next Naruto what if. After what if Naruto was OP and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to start this off at the battles or at the classroom where... All Might says, come in and style as your combat extractor. And stuff like that. It's the same teams, Bakugo, Ida, Uraraka, Deku. So Deku goes in. Uraraka, Uraraka says what we're going to do. Deku says that probably, um... Bakugo will rush out and just start destroying stuff. And Ida will stay up there trying to get do this test right. So he says you should probably go around and up. This is whenever Yaku said pushes her to the side, pretty much. And he walks behind a pillar with Bakugo shooting out of this wall, looking around and going through another wall. And that's whenever Uraraka says, how do you know he was there? And and she asked, Are you, do you have eye problems because you wear glasses? And this is whenever Deku says, no, this is a support item I requested. It's practically a tracking item. That's whenever he turns it into like a goggle mode. Because half the time it's in like this regular glasses mode. This is where it doesn't just go shooting off of him. And you see little things appear on it. And he says that Ida's on the 4th floor. All the way to the... Left? Wait... Yeah. All the way to the right. side. So he says... And he tells her to go down this path. To get there the quickest. And avoid Bakugo. And stuff like that. And so he walks to this one wall where he sees Bakugo's like scan and is coming through. Bakugo explodes. This is when Bakugo explodes to the wall and only like, gets to meet with a flick to the face, sending Bakugo back. Bakugo says, You nerd! Rushing at him with Deku pretty much sidestepping this dude. And him using Black Whip for any time he got too close to kind of push him back. And create like a shield, like a twisting shield to kind of fend off his attacks. And stuff like that. Because Baku is stronger. I want to say he does have like an alter impact, but he says I can't destroy this whole area. And stuff like that. So he did make EP shot. Which, I'm pretty sure Endeavor already made a move like that. If you guys didn't know that. Or Endeavor made, like, this storing heat attack. Where you can destroy no moves and stuff. Destroy no moves way easier. And it's kind of concentrated heat. And I'm pretty sure, um, Todoroki learns it too. Because him and Bakio trained under Endeavor, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that was a Mongol spoiler. Well, it wasn't that big one. But, yeah, he shoots the EMP shot, and that's whenever Deku uses his black whip and starts smacking the EMP shot to threads by using one fall onto them. Kind of making wind blast with them. And because they're kind of like, if you're hitting somebody with pieces of, like, it's not really like a whip. It's more like hitting something with really something really hard. Is what Black Whip pretty much feels like. So he smacks Baku, um, EP shot away, and he comes in with his pretty much with his Black Whips shooting out, 
and Baku defending, expecting it was going to be like a, a straight up hit to the face and stuff, but this time it hits him, but it turns into almost like liquid, but sticky, and this is where he pulls Baku, with Baku um, exploding his way out and trying to pull his gauntlets out because there was only one, one black whip and stuff like that. And I'm gonna say Uraraq is still there because she, um, Deku told her to hide um, behind him because he was unexpected. I'm gonna say it was actually happened, or they're walking and all that. And so this is whenever he shoots it. This causes Deku to get angry, and his black whip to get bigger and stronger. And that's when you see the whole blast disappear. And people are confused. That's whenever um, the whole ground around, um, what's his name, Bakio, just destroyed. And Bakio gets smacked around constantly. And whenever you see Deku, his black whips are bigger. Or not bigger, but they're like, have glowing stuff around there. And Deku does too. That acts weird. And they can see that he's visible angry, but what they also see is that his shirt's completely burnt with Uraraka behind him with the ground broke where his feet are. And they're thinking that he took that full blast just to protect her. And then he screams out to Bakugo, that's about unconscious, saying, you could have killed her, you idiot, with him shooting his last black whip, knocking him out. Then he picks up Uraraka and, like, tells her to float herself because, like, what happened was the explosion kind of, like, went upwards. And so she comes, like, weightless and throws her up where Ida is right there, like, really fast because he has one for all and stuff like that and all that. And I'm just gonna say Ida didn't see them. So, SPO6. But, oh, yeah. So, yeah, and pretty much then all he sees is a flash of glo a glowing Deku, pretty much, because he's still angry. And people see his black webs start moving on their own more often. Like, they've seen it, like, move slightly. And all that, but now they're seeing them kind of hit the ground. And this is when Deku says sorry to Ida, saying that he's a little angry, so this might hurt a little more than usual. And he gets pretty much smacked, and whenever Ida's trying to run, he gets smacked in the leg. If Ida expecting his armor to be like a little better than thinking that his armor will protect him, that's why he rushed in. His armor instantly getting cracked, and his foot getting hit by a black whip. And she says those whips were really strong. Um, and stuff like that. Deku pretty much doesn't hit him directly, but he destroys the armor pretty much. And people see him turn off black whip, and run, or turn black whip, it kind of changes back into that liquid form that they seen hit Bakugo. And they see Black Whip go across the room in all different directions and twisting and shooting, branching off of each other. And this confuses Ida because he's surrounded by Black Lips. And this is where Deku says, um, Black Coffin. And he pulls his Black Whip on his hand. Making all the black whips to move and capturing Ida. Pretty much, this moves for taking down villains inside buildings because he'll spread black whip everywhere and capture people. Um, this makes them win or rocking him and stuff. But yeah, whenever he goes back, he, um. People are saying that, are you okay because he took that frontal blast? It, they didn't really say this because 
but I'm pretty sure because all for one enhances your whole body. I'm pretty sure it enhances your durability. Because you never think about this, but technically, if it only enhances their physical capability, like their punches and kicks, how strong they are and how fast they are, then how can these people take shots? Especially All Might. And stuff like that. That's why I think, all f and how fast they can react by how fast they're going. That's why I'm adding this stuff in. That I'm pretty sure the actual anime never put in about um, all one for all enhancing your reaction speed. It might have, I think, I think, what's that dude's name? I think he was named after a car. Gran Torino. Yeah, he is named after a car. Yeah. Um, Grantee, 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 you know, said something about that, I'm pretty sure they might have, but I don't think they actually mentioned durability. And that's whenever Deku says that um, enhancing a quirk doesn't just enhance physical speed and um, physical strength. Like most enhancement quirks, it actually enhances my durability, my reaction speed, and everything about me. Except smart, she said. Or I'll be a genius. But it kind of does help you during battle. Saying that the stronger I can use my cork, the more time I can think because things seem slowed down. The stronger my cork gets. Because if you can move at, I'm pretty sure All Might can move at like Mach 20 at peak physical strength. I'm pretty sure. He was some Mach speed. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if it was Mach 20. I think that was Koro Sensei. But how fast he would go if he had a normal body also. He probably would have had his body torn apart by the force of that. That's also another thing. In the tunnel vision whenever you go that fast. Because he says by depending on how fast I can go. I would get tunnel vision, and they ask tunnel vision, and that's whenever Momo comes over and explains the whole thing. And this is what Momo says that you should let Uraraka do some more. And Kurosuma walks over and says, what happened to your whips? They kind of went out of control, or got stronger. That's whenever he says that that quirk is based off of my emotions. So if I feel down, my whips will... I'm not sure if... No. It says if I'm angry of something, my whips will get stronger. And stuff like that. And they say you shouldn't get angry as a hero. And he gives a philosophy from the second user that had black whip. That he told Deku about... Um, not... He's still like a human, pretty much. And humans get angry... And angry and help heroes and stuff. And people think about this and stuff like that. And yeah, so they go back to lunch from um, one day. And this is where they hear alarm go off saying it's a villain attack. And Daku, Uraraka, Ida, and Kirishima stand up. And Kirishima and Deku and Ida could see out the window, and they noticed that it was the media. This is whenever they said we have to get their attention. And Deku goes in the back of the kitchen, where the people are, and say, tells them that it was just a media. They give me some pots and pans, and they give them like these big pots and pans. And Deku puts them on the ground, using black whips, clapping them all, pretty much, making a sonic boom, kind of because he used one for all, making like a shockwave of wind coming off of them. This turns everybody around, which he says that, um, no worries, it was just the media and stuff. This comes people down. And they look at his quirk and stuff, and they're like, isn't he from 1A? And stuff like that. And, yeah. 
And Marma says, it was like, let me see how this cork works, how it feels like. Because technically, his cork is a stockpile cork. When Momo tries to copy it, it won't work. Because if you guys didn't know, Momo's Momo cork can't take, can't copy corks with stockpile energy. That like, if your cork is able to store um, heat inside your body, then he can't do that. Because, or you can't, if that was all your cork can do, or like, store like store something in your body pretty much he can't copy that and i think there's something else also of course mutations all that so blammo that he can't copy and he says dud and he's confused because he thinks it was just like a emitter cork but he's thinking yeah it can't be a mutation because it disappeared and so he comes up with the conclusion that it was a stockpile. And he's thinking, and he's thinking it might be a cork passed down through his family. Giving the other, because Bonoma is like, psych have you ever seen Psyche K? You know, like those last few episodes where this dude talked a lot? That's what he reminds me of Bonoma. And they both do mumble and stuff, and they all do. And they both have that weird thing that they do, and I'm pretty sure they're both blonde. And, like, the dude was really smart, but he was really, like, weird and too. And that's kind of what Monoma was. Monoma asked if your cork was a stockpile cork from passing on through his family. When he hears this, first thing he thought is, did he find out one for all that easily? But he just plays it off saying... Um, sort of. Um, mine is the strongest one in my family. And stuff like that. Um, or I'm also, they interrogate him. And they get somebody that can race memories and races that whole thing about it. Race this whole video. Race the existence of anime, just anime. Bye.